Yeah. Yeah. Mailbag will be starting in just a minute. So the recording starts now. I'll see you in just a minute. All right, here we are. Oh, oh man, I need to stretch. All right, that's not going to happen right now, though. Oh, maybe a little. All right, so uh, here we are for mailbag. Oh, I'm going to close the curtains behind me. I know it's real sunny out, but uh, this way there's a little less backlighting. The camera pick up a little bit of what's going on inside. All right, I'm not trying to compensate for that brightness. That should probably improve the way things look a little bit. Hi, are you going to do mailbag today? I don't mind. I'll just go sit over here. You got this. You got this, Al. All right, this may be too close to the camera, actually. Let me take a look and see what we're doing. Buddy, can I sit here, little bean? Look out. Okay, that's my seat. It's not your seat. Oh, I think this might be a little too close here. Let's just back up. feels too close today. Let me check the camera real quick. See how we look. Yeah, that looks pretty all right to me. Uh, I feel like I'm pointing right at the camera a little too much though. Maybe I should just, there we go. That's a little more decent, isn't it? And that way I'm kind of facing the mail and I can kind of stretch the way I need to too. Ah, wow, all right. Benefits and uh, let's check the microphones. Good, it says this is the one that's on, so we got that going for us. And let's check Discord real quick and make sure nobody's yelling at me that things are terribly broken. Not yet anyway, so good. All right, so uh, let's see. Um, is there any news this week? Well, obviously uh, our mom cat, um, Thimble, had her babies. I, I think that's new since last time, right? Uh, she had her babies, and they had a couple rough days at the start, but now they are just growing like crazy. They're getting mad gains. She seems like she's doing well. We have had a lot of people write to us to say that they hear her snoring a little bit here and there, and I noticed she's had a couple sneezing fits too. Um, but uh, if she has any kind of an upper respiratory infection, it's not very serious yet, and it's not – there's not a lot that can be done for it anyway. You kind of got to hope uh, that, that she gets over it on her own because most of that stuff's viral. And, uh, yeah, there are antivirals, and there's even antivirals that we've used for cats, but they're not super effective for your standard upper respiratory. So um, probably not even worth digging into unless it turns out to be a real problem. So so that's where we are. Uh, just uh, There's probably, like I said, not much to do about it. And... Uh, um, Therefore, uh, we're just going to kind of keep on watching and, and see what happens. Uh, but I, I, I don't think it's even bothering her. It doesn't seem to bother her at all. Uh, you just hear her snort a little bit here and there. 
uh, and that's that's fine. She's not, you know, there's no uh, there's no discharge or anything like that. Just there's nothing. So uh, that's that's generally my advice, um, uh, you know, on that kind of thing. Although I'm not a vet, so please, if my my advice on this stuff is, if you your cat is sick, uh, ask your vet. Don't ask me. Don't don't go to my videos. Uh, do whatever your vet thinks is best. So uh, that's the way to go. All right. Uh, so anyway, new kittens. Yes, that's very exciting. Oh, oh, wait, uh, I need to check my phone because I need to tell you guys that if there's two kittens that actually still need applicants and adopters after all. I know I've said in the last couple of close ups that they're all adopted, um, but that turns out to not be the case. And I would sure uh, this gives me new renewed hope that uh, somebody will apply to adopt one or both of the remaining kittens with their mom. Uh, and, and start a little cat family at, uh, that way. Uh, that would be a wonderful way to do it. Uh, let me make sure I know which kittens are and aren't for sure spoken for. Now, this doesn't mean that there aren't already applications in for these uh, that are going to be processed. You know, that, that kind of thing can happen. But uh, my And I don't even know what, what happened here. My suspicion is that there was someone that had applied for them and it took, you know, a while uh, before they, they got ready to be adopted. And by the time that the applications were approved, they were ready to be adopted. That person had kind of oh, wow. moved on. Uh, which is good. I'd rather that happen before the adoption than after. I think everybody would. Uh, so that's perfectly understandable. Uh, let me check here. It is... Oh, wow. I missed an update, too. Uh, wow. I hope, uh, I hope everybody's okay. Um, I do see that one person had to uh, cancel their adoption for uh, medical reasons, so I missed that. Um, uh, yeah, okay, uh, but uh, it looks like what we've got here is Flim Flam and Hoodwink are the ones that are uh, currently uh, unspoken for as far as we know. And Dawes did say, you know, they're going to go back through the list of, um, you know, sort of prior uh, applications and, and adopters and make sure that uh, they don't suddenly become available to somebody that was looking for them. But meanwhile, they actually asked me to put out the word uh, that those two, I should really get it clear in my head, which two, um, Flim Flam and Hoodwink. So uh, there you go. Flim Flam and Hoodwink. Uh, I see uh, somebody saying the sound in the annex it might be interfering. Uh, let's see who gets to it first. Oh, all right. I already got to it ahead of me. Good job. Oakley Oakley, uh, then that's everything for the news for sure. Now we've got a ton of Christmas mail and because next Christmas is next Saturday, right? I, do I really need to check or can I just pretend that I know things? Okay, I, I need to check. Uh, basically, Christmas Eve is next Saturday. So for sure, uh, we probably won't be going to the, the post office on Christmas Eve if they're even open. Uh, that means I'll probably try to go midweek, like Wednesday, and pick up whatever mail is there. And uh, we might just have to spread out some, some mailbag uh, even further than just Saturday. Sunday, we'll play it by ear. Uh, and I'll, I'll work on getting these things uploaded too right away. That way, uh, worst case, there's something for you all to watch on the archives um, you know, over the Christmas break. If you're looking for some entertainment, we can, uh, we can go over past mailbags or present mailbags or whatever. That's a thing. We'll get it all worked out. Okay, uh, so that's just to let you know, uh, probably not a mailbag on next Saturday, though, or maybe there will be a time. Look, I don't know. I don't know how these things work. Uh, if, it is, if it is Christmas Eve on next Saturday, we can do mailbag then, but I just probably won't be picking up mail that one. I guess that's the way it works. All right, let's take, uh, we've got a ton of Christmas cards here, and we've definitely got a two-day mailbag here. So I'm just going to grab about half of them uh, and see what we get through. And uh, whoever's in the second half, I, I apologize that, that you're going to be uh, put off for a day. I just grabbed one extra because I see a couple of small ones in the back here. Uh, cool. So let's start with a couple of Christmas cards and letters, which is definitely my favorite part. I just I love hearing from everybody. And uh, I do think I've said it before. Uh, maybe it's been a while that, you know, if you really well, – so if you really want to send something, um, cards are always the best thing. They're inexpensive, you know, compared to some of what you could send. Uh, cards are inexpensive, and I appreciate them uh, maybe more than anything else. I just I love hearing from everybody and seeing where things are from and people are from and, you know, your thoughts and uh, questions and all of that. I just that's my that's my favorite part. So 
a lot of mileage to that. And I was also thinking, I, I made an offhand comment in last week's mailbag about what do you get the person who has everything? I was referring to DJ. Um, but I thought about it and you know, the, the real answer, what do you get the person who has everything is a, a letter or a card. It's like, you know, those, those are all unique and wonderful. And um, therefore they're always well received. And I, I'm personally always looking for one, you know, and uh, that way, um, that, that's it's just a good answer to the question you know what do you get the person who has everything you get them write them a letter write them a card anyway okay here we are uh this is a beautiful little snowy christmas village and uh, it's actually got a cut out with one of the houses is inside the card but uh it's beautiful it's sparkly they've got one tree decorated in the village and their houses are decorated with sparkly tinsel it's very cute Ooh, and the the uh the ink on the inside is also shiny my goodness that's very cool uh, says Kitten Academy. I recognize this, by the way. Now I know exactly who this is. This looks like it's from Cindy. Uh, let's see. Kitten Academy, Mr. A and DJ, uh, coming down the boo, which is uh, completely, I'm sure, uh, uh, my French is so bad, way worse than anybody's English. Um, uh, how are you? We are well. Black is doing pretty well. He'll be 13 years old, April 2023. He has some mobility issues. Well, I do too, and I'm way older than 13. Hatchie and Grisette are doing wonderfully. Hatchie turns 10 years, April 2023. Grisette will be nine years, February 2023. This year again, uh, you were able to help mom, cats, and kittens. Thank you. Oh, that's so sweet. Uh, let's see. 2022 was a hard year for me. Hatchie, Black, and Grisette helped me through the year. I hope 2023 will be happier. Finally, I wish you a Merry Christmas 2022. Bye-bye, Kiss, Black, Hatchie, Grisette, Cindy, Danielle, Bruno. Uh, Merry Christmas, Get an Academy. Cindy, thank you so much for writing to us. Uh, I'll, frankly, it's been a hard year, probably for a lot of people, and uh, myself included, and you too. And, uh, um, you know, I, I noticed that you had a death in your family. You say that. I, I did sort of glide over uh, that part of the letter, but... Um, uh, you know, we, I know how that feels. Um, so uh, my apologies and uh, condolences, I think, is the word I'm looking for to you and to everybody, uh, too, that, that is, you know, suffering that kind of a loss this year. Um, it's It's been a rough one. Somehow, I, and I've said this a couple of times, too, somehow I made it through the like peak COVID years um, flying high. Things were great. And then it's, you know, when everybody else is sort of starting to get uh, that's, I'm always late to the party. I think that's all it is. Just late again. Uh, anyway, here's our next card is from Philly Mouse. Oh, and it's got this really uh, almost spooky looking drawing of a cat uh, sticker on the front here. It's got a very, uh, yeah, I don't know why that looks kind of spooky, I guess. Uh, all right. Anyway, keep rolling. Uh, <laughs> let's see what we got here. This is, uh, it's a very big cat that looks kind of like Maggie dressed up in a Christmas outfit. And she is thinking, I cannot believe the things I will tolerate for a few extra treats. Yes, uh, Maggie also has that same thought. It says, Dear Mr. A, Dr. DJ, and members of Kitten Academy, may you get everything you want for Christmas without embarrassing yourself. Merry Christmas, wishing you the happiest of holidays and New Year's. Love, hugs, and purrs from Anna Marie, who is Philly Mouse. Philly Mouse, thank you so much. That is super sweet. Okay. Uh, next up, we have some Royal Mail and a note on the back that says live stream friendly. I like that. I'm also live stream friendly. Uh, <laughs> there's a cheese and crackers here talking to each other. They're decorated for Christmas. And one says, the cheese is saying, your crackers. And the cracker is saying, Merry Cheesemas. Uh, that's cute. Also, you've labeled the cheese on the inside. Uh, and I don't know if you've labeled the cheese so that uh, uh, the food channel on Discord, uh, we always circle and label the cheese there. Uh, it's uh, become a tradition, I guess. Or if you've done that, just so I won't confuse it for an oddly shaped Christmas coconut. Uh, either way, very helpful. Thank you. Inside, it says, Dear Mr. A, Dr. DJ, and all the wonderful cats and kittens at the Academy, here's to another wonderful year at Kitten Academy. Thank you for all you do and for the immense joy you bring. Merry Christmas. 
Another year, another cat. Uh, my little girl yells, look at that. She waves and smiles and meows and sings as zoomy zoom and brrrps ring. She gets such joy from all you do, and I can say that I do too. And so we give thanks time and again and also say, not a legal win. Uh, I tried. I just assume it's got to rhyme with again, but then maybe it's got to rhyme with a cane, and then it would be uh, Lewayne, uh, or maybe it just would be something complete. You know what? Uh, lots of love, Mama Elk, Papa Elk, and Little Squidge. Thank you so much for that. That was fun. Uh, fun all the way. <laughs> uh, mispronouncing things is also fun, I guess. Okay, wow. This uh, has a stamp on it that actually says carried by sled dogs. Uh, it's from Green Bay, so, uh, and it's from Cartwheel. I wonder if that's true. 2022, wow. Uh, Beaver Mountain Mushing Trail Mail. My goodness. Trail Mail. Wow. Braver Mountain, not Beaver Mountain. Okay. Uh, trail Mail. Hmm. Carried by sled dogs. How cool is that? Uh, inside, we have a sled cat. Well, actually, we have a cat dreaming of a sled cat. How cute. And it says, hi, Mr. A and DJ. My auntie says this card is going to be carried by sled dogs. Well, apparently it was. Look at that. So you can see the stamp on the back. You can see the stamp on the front, carried by sled dogs. Uh, and then this, there's a sticker that's got a sled dog on it. But this part, carried by sled dogs, is like a hand stamp that's on the letter itself. So it seems authentic. Uh, I think it would be fun to be the first sled cat. I like outside. I like running fast. And I like pulling hard on the leash. Wait, are you telling me I'd have to put my paws in the snow? Never mind. Love, Cartwheel. How sweet is that to hear from Cartwheel and that this was carried by sled dogs. I'm going to have to keep the envelope for this one. We don't normally do that, but there we go. Right in there. Ah, thank you so much for writing to us and uh, carried by sled dogs. I, you know, that sounds, I was going to say, I can't imagine that's still a thing, but if it was a thing, Wisconsin would be the place uh, to do that. So, yes, indeed. How about that? We got a theme going on because this one is Santa and it says, uh, if cats pulled the sleigh and there's a bunch of cats kind of sitting around doing nothing and Santa's saying, come on, you guys, we have to go. Indeed. Uh, let's see. Uh, and then in the inside, Santa's saying, stop weaving in and out of my legs. Uh, and the cats are doing just that. This is from Joe and Halfers. And the note says, dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, wishing you and the faculty a very Merry Christmas. Can you pick out which cat is which at KA? I'll bet Discord can help with a picture of this one. Wow. Well, I bet they can, actually. There's a few too many orange cats, but we should have that many orange cats here now, shouldn't we? Let's see if we can get somebody to work on that. Maggie, Maggie, can you get us some orange cats? What do you think? Okay, uh, you guys can uh, take a look at that. You can pause and, uh, and figure out which cats are which. I'm fine with that. Okay, uh, next up though, <laughs> we have a card that's sealed with a little smiley face wearing a Christmas hat, a Santa hat. And inside there is a beautiful stocking. Uh, it's a, a, like a block print of a stocking with a cat sticking his head out of it, and also a bunch of plants that are very pretty. A beautiful card. And inside it says, Mr. A, Dr. DJ, faculty, moms, and kittens, family, friends, and furry companions, wishing you all the joys of the holiday season. We hope you have a very Merry Christmas and happy and healthy New Year. Thank you for all the joy and happiness you bring to our lives. Love, Dawn, S and J's mom, uh, uh, Sam and Jack. I see S and J are Sam and Jack, and S and J's mom is Dawn's name on Discord, not uh, our other Dawn who goes by the name Morning Sunrise. So S and J's mom, Sam and Jack's mom, Dawn. Uh, thank you. That's a beautiful card. All right, uh, moving right along. Oh, wow. This is a, a beautiful oil painting of a kitten at a snowy window. We're looking in and there's warm lights inside and a Christmas tree with a star on top and big red bows. It's beautiful. Uh, and it says it is called Kitten and Snow. 
uh, by apparently the McNeil studio slash art licensing.com. Uh, really feels like it's not giving credit to the artist, but it does say on the front, it's signed McNeil. So maybe McNeil of the McNeil studio. All right. Uh, it says here, dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, thank you for another year full of furry fun and happy, healthy kittens. May the new year bring everyone associated with Kitten Academy light, joy, and love from at SD Grady and at Beta Cats. Uh, Merry Christmas. That's uh, Sonia and Rich. Thank you so much, SD Grady and Beta Cats on Discord. There's that beautiful painting that I was talking about, trying to describe. Okay. Next up, we have one from Carol's Cats, it says. Oh, sealed with a Christmas tree. All right. And this is a cat all wrapped up in a Christmas ornament, a photograph of a cat, but the Christmas ornaments are added in post. There we go. And it says, thank you for all your hard work. Oh, it says, uh, Merry Christmas and a perfect new year. Okay, thank you for all your hard work caring for kittens and mom cats all through the year. Also, thank you for hosting the wonderful community on Discord. I don't post very often, but I enjoy scrolling through others' posts. Special hugs to the faculty, to Merry Christmas to all from Carol, Kelly, and Jasper. Thank you, Carol, Kelly, and Jasper. Um, yeah, it's, uh, we typically, uh, the, the old school term for people that just sort of observe and don't post are lurkers, which doesn't sound great, does it? But uh, it is, it's a wonderful thing, and we, we so appreciate having all of you there. Uh, DJ herself is more of a lurker than a participant. Hi, DJ. See, she's lurking on this, too. So uh, here we go. Our final card for today It is a bunch of animals that are skating on an ice rink, a real uh, cute sort of block print thing. Um, and it says, from all of us at the holidays, um, Merry Christmas, Kitten Academy. We'd all like to tell you that we hope your holidays will make you very happy in a thousand different ways. Thank you for all that you do. All the best in 2023. Love. Caitlin and Chris, Lizzie and General. Well, thank you, Caitlin and Chris, Lizzie and General. Uh, that's a very cute card. Okay. Uh, I feel like Caitlin and Chris might be a Discord name too, is it? Is that the Discord name? I feel it just sounds very familiar for some reason. Uh, all right. So um, let's see. I guess now we should start opening some things. And we're just going to kind of... Well, I was just thinking, you could close that door if it is going to be too noisy. Just that one door. And then they, the kittens can still get in and out. They just have to go around. They know how to do that. Yeah, he was, he was barking and running around this morning, too, I heard him. He's so funny. It's cute that he still does that. Yeah, Hogwash was running around this morning making it. And we call it barking. It's not really like a dog bark, though, but it's not at all like a meow, either. It's more like a grunt than anything. Um, like a, uh, 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 I can't do it. I can't, I can't do the sound justice, but uh, it's very cute. He still does it. He runs and he makes this noise, and I don't know what he's trying to express by doing that, but it's adorable. So uh, let's see here. Well, I don't know where to start, but there is this box that was sitting out first, and it is right here on top, and it is addressed to Professor Custard, who's right there. Hey, Custard, we got a box for you, buddy. Do you want to see it? Uh, it's addressed to Professor Custard, but then there's a note that says, cut here, Mr. A. So uh, I like that. That's some good directions. I don't have to worry about where on the box, excuse me, I'm supposed to cut. And I don't have to worry about whether Custard was supposed to open this himself. Wow, you drew that line exactly in the right spot. I don't know how you did that, uh, but that, that nailed it. All right. Aw. Uh, let's see. To Professor Custer, your replacement bed for your enjoyment. Deploy immediately. Lots of love, weirdo, Kevin, and mom. Hmm. I think I know what that means this must be. And that's so sweet of you. And that's all that's in the box. And the note's right there on the top. Uh, that means this has got to be that bed that, uh, that uh, got, I don't know, it's been here for a while. It lasted quite a long time for a cardboard bed. But eventually it got peed and vomited and messed up and it was time to go. Uh, and that's exactly, oh, that's exactly what it is. But this is a nicer, slightly nicer version of the same. But I say it's slightly nicer. I'm sure it's very little difference. But the other one just had a plane outside and this one's got a wood print. Uh, of course, 
that's irrelevant because once you actually have the bed deployed, you don't see this at all. <laughs> But uh, but that's cute. And it's still got the rubber bands that are supposed to hold it together where uh, the bed that he had, we had long since lost the rubber bands and replaced them with a binder clip. It might work better anyhow, uh, but at least we've ooh, got the rubber bands right here and I can put the bed out for him right now. Some of you might be wondering how this weird shape is a bed. Well, you're about to find out. You just open it up like an accordion. Ooh. Just like so, and that is, uh, oh wow, it's pristine, it's so new. Okay, hang on, I wanna, get, I wanna see if I can get both of the rubber bands going, which means I have to take one off completely. I'll take them both off completely, there we go. Ooh, just like that, and this indeed has been Custard's favorite bed while well, it's been in here, and this is exactly where in the room it goes as well, right here, I'm going to just put it just a little bit over. Oh, Maggie's got to test it out for him. Maggie, how rude. Oh, oh my goodness, she curled right up in it. Custard, and I see you looking at it too. Oh no. The worst Christmas for poor little Custard. <laughs> Maggie, can Custard please have his bed? Why don't you go back to your pod? You got that wicker pod right back there. Here, let's try this. Let's just see. Custard probably won't stay here now anyway because uh, it's not going to be his idea to have gotten into it. But let's just try to give him his chance. Let's give you a chance, buddy. Give me your Custard Doodle. Come here. Let's get the kitten out. Let's get you in. There you go. Look at that. A brand new Custard bed. Yes, that's been his favorite. For oh, he's going to settle right. That thing's a big hit. I, you know what? I'm surprised. Uh, again, what a big hit that bed is. Also, I don't remember, it's been a long time since, I think it was Pat, uh, I think it was Pat that sent the original. Uh, it's been a long time since I've seen it, but this one's got a nice rounded edge too, where I think the other one might have just been square, but this one's chamfered. Chamfered, oh yeah, that's a word for someone that makes things. Uh, it's a, It means when you, when you have a square box and you uh, cut an angle into the edges so that they... Uh, they aren't just, you know, 90 degrees, but they have a little 45 degree chamfer or, or you know, whatever degree. Uh, so, yeah, that's what we got going on there. And it looks real good. And uh, obviously it's going to be, Maggie, you don't have to bite a kitten. Uh, obviously it's going to be a big hit for everybody. Uh, oh, is that even on the camera where it is, though? It's got to be, right? Let me check. Yes, oh, it is. Okay, perfect. That's right on the camera. Good. I, did, I nailed it. Nailed it. Okay. Perfect. Good enough. And Maggie's going to sit here and play with some toys to show everybody how. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, how upset she is. I was going to try to get her toy over here where we could all see her play. Maggie, come here. Come here, Maggie. Come here. Come up here. Come up here and play. Yeah, now you can bite a kitten because he's messing with your toy. Okay, next up. Uh, this one is, uh, let's see, it's a drop shipment from Mickey's Pet Supplies. Oh, so we know it's the good stuff. But it says it's from Laura Kitten Fan to the Cahoots and the Cahooligans. The Cahoots and the Cahooligans? I guess. Why not? We can put a preposition at the beginning of her name. Okay. Oh, uh, Cahoots and Cahooligans with a card. Hmm. Is it a card? Is it a... Let's see. We have some little tiny Fruitables Wildly Natural Chicken Cat Treats. Hmm. Interesting. And we also have salmon treats from Fruitables. Well, there's only like two or three of each of these treats. Why don't we hand those out and see if there's a note in the note? Is there a note? Ooh, good stuff in here. No. Oh, there we go. Uh, gifts for Cahoots and the Cahooligans from Laura Kittenfan. All right. Well, thank you, Laura Kittenfan. And uh, thank you, by the way, for putting your name in the address, as in... It's shipped to Laura Kitten Fan, Cahoots and Cahooligans, Care of, Kitten Academy, and then our address. Maggie, you want a treat? You want to try something new? Yeah. Try that one. What do you think? She gets the chicken. They sent two of those little tiny treats, but they sent a handful. Handful? No, nope, only if you have tiny little hands. A pawful. Uh, five of these custard. Do you want to try a treat, buddy? He doesn't want to move because somebody will take his, his bed. Oh, no. Okay, let's not get treats in your brand new bed, though, here, right? Here. Oh, okay, I dropped it again. I tried. Here, buddy, come here. 
Are you the boy? You look like the boy. You got a very symmetrical face. You got a symmetrical back. Okay, you're the boy. Here, boy. Okay, have a treat. Oh, here, Mayhem, you want one too? There you go. There's very few of these now. We've got to make the most of it. Flim Flam? Flim Flam? Flimmy? Okay, you going to find it though? Oh, not before Maggie does. There's only one left, guys. All right, I guess Mayhem gets it. The boy is looking the wrong way. All right, so uh, Laura Kitten Fan has sent a bag full of ooh, really good stuff. So these are some catnip kickers, one for each of the five. Uh, and I guess the pink one must be for the boy then. I guess it stands out. Look, we've got one that's a cow print too. we got a couple gray ones. we got this. Uh, these are fake fur, which is interesting from Mickey. Oh, and another one from Mom. Okay, there we go. Interesting from them, uh, and also probably uh, much more of a sound ethical decision. And uh, you can see the kittens are already interested, and they must smell real good, or else you just think maybe there's more treats to be had, but there aren't. Uh, and you also sent a bag of the highly sought after and valued Rosie the Rat toys. Look at that. Yeah, that's from Charlie. I over it came all the way from overseas. Sweet. And I don't remember the old one, but I don't remember it being nicely rounded like that around the edges. That looks real pretty. It looks so new and nice. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody wanted to get it too. Yeah, I think that's different. It's very yeah. nice. Uh, anyway, so we have a whole bag of little Rosie the Rats in various colors. These are just a little piece of fur with a little piece of leather and a little mouse face on them. Uh, but they're a big hit with, with all kinds of cats. So we'll save those for their endowments and they can have a lot of fun with those in their new house. Wow, whatever's in those kickers must really be good. He got up out of his bed and everything to come. Oh, he wants to bite it? Yeah. All right. Wow, they must be the good stuff. Well, for now, I don't have a place to put endowments, so I'm just going to leave that all in the bag. It does, it's clearly labeled Cahoots and Cahoots all over, so that makes it easy. I'm going to fold over the edge so no one comes and steals it. I can see it's sought after, just like Custard's bed, but even more so. If he gave up the bed to come over here, that really counts for something anyway. All right, next up, open this side, please. All right, well, that's the kind of instruction that I can appreciate. Um, let's see what we got here. He's going to displace his aggression onto that, uh, that catnip from Meow. Go. Dear Mr. I see some cow print in here. Oh my goodness. <gasps> EJ, you're going to want to see this. Uh, hang on though. Dear Mr. A and DJ, all the friends and Kitten Academy, I'm totally in love with the Kahooligans, and I have a special place in my heart for Mayhem in her little forehead kiss spot. I'm sending an embiggened pocket that I found in a craft fair as her endowment. The budget Mayhem is for your Christmas tree, and the items inside can be used as you see fit. Keeping it short like me, and we'll write more soon. Thanks for all you do, Andrea and Mojo, or Moho, I'm guessing Mojo though. Andrea and Mojo have sent, I don't, I don't know what some of those words meant. This is an embiggened pocket that I found at a craft fair. This is, this is very cute. Uh, I don't, I guess. Oh, and oh, of course it is. Yeah, because she was, she used to get in the pocket in the, yes. It is a little bit longer. It's about the same diameter though. But this is interesting. It's counterweighted. This would be so nice. You see, it's got a counterweight that's full of little rocks or something. So you just hang it, and then it can hold something. Yeah. That's so clever. And it Maybe. It's also got a uh, plastic liner. Oh, that's an old soda bottle. It's recycled. What a clever way to recycle. And that gives it some uh, some, some uh, uh, firmness, which is important. The, the actual the, the basket that they climb in, in the bedroom, I had to put wire through to give it to keep get it to keep its shape. This is a much more clever way of doing the same thing. And then inside, as you can see, it's full of all the classic cat toys, which we might just leave for her endowment anyway. That's a great thing to do. But this this is the thing you have to see. It's a little tiny Christmas tree ornament mayhem, complete with a forehead spot. 
Yes, it's got the little spot on the tip of her tail, the little forehead spot, and the cutest little face. And it's just fat and round like she was as a kitten. It's completely adorable. Little felted mayhem Christmas tree ornament. I love it so much. Maybe a little too much to put on the Christmas tree. It might just have to go straight into our uh, cabinet of wonderful things. And no, it's for us. This is for us. I love it so much. Uh, and it would look real good next to the taco cat Ari that's in there, wouldn't it? Because he's also felted about the same size and roundness. What is she doing? Where is she? She's right behind. Oh, she's got a bee. You got a bee in the box. You got a bee in the box. Yeah, let's see. I have to dump out all the stuff, though. Let's do this. Oh, there's something else in here. And there's also a note that says, for Mr. A's eyes only. Oh, I thought there was something else. This not. Okay, but this is okay for my eyes only. Whoa. Hey, what do you think of this? Will you fit in here? Mm -hmm. I don't know if she will, actually. It looks like it's almost the same size as her now. It, but she's loving Maggie's bee. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. This is Maggie's toy. It does look like her, though. Look, you guys look the same. What's in there? Is that a bee? Is there a bee in there? How are you going to get it out? Okay, let's just read the note. It's to me only. Okay. Uh, boop, 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 boop. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right. You can't be like that when it's for your eyes only. Well, it's just, it's a, mostly about a missing mailbag, which is fine, but I realize now it's yes, but it also reminded me of something that is, uh, I'll just say it's something that's in my closet that I keep meaning to bring out on the stream. And every time I see it, I'm like, oh, I got to bring that on the stream. And then I don't, but I, I it's, it means a lot to me, let me tell you that, okay? So that's how we'll just leave it there. Uh, and speaking of leaving it there, we're going to put all this and leave it there, and then we're going to set this aside for her endowment. And uh, this little tiny one, though, I guess I'll put in my pocket, unless DJ wants to put it right in the cabinet of wonderful things. Uh, she's busy cooking, though, so I'll put it. You can sit right here and watch Mailbag with me, okay, buddy? There we go. I don't know how visible that is, but... Uh, the actual mayhem's right here, too. And this is mayhem. Mayhem. Okay. Uh, I don't know which note is in which, so I'm going to put them both in my pocket. There we go. Okay. Uh, I think I, I may still be able to find that missing mailbag, by the way. So just that's basically thank you for the reminder. Okay. Oh, uh, oh no. Took a tumble, just like the real mayhem. Eddie's neck? I don't know. I haven't noticed anything. Uh, oh, yeah. Did he get shaved for his blood draw? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, he has, he has been to the vet. They've all been except for uh, Logan. His is in the spring for some reason. Okie dokie. Moving right along. Hey, Maggie, that was a bit extra. Okay, April in Asheville. Ooh, ooh, okay. Well, I think I know uh, what this is. <laughs> yeah, I, I clearly know what this is. Not only is it chocolate bar sized, uh, it's you can feel the chocolate bar, uh, what do you call them, the little separations. Uh, uh, what do you call it? There's a word. There's a word that's right on the tip of my brain for that. Uh, perforations. There we go. Yeah, I know. It seems like the wrong word, but that had to be the one I was thinking of. Because uh, I was thinking some glass, but the thing, the kit should be over on the counter. Okie dokie. Uh, so April Nashville has sent some kind of a chocolate bar and a gnome. This is such a cute little uh, piece of art of a gnome in a wreath. And it says, Happy Holidays. It's very shiny. Oh, you also sent a gift card, which I will put over here. Thank you so much for the generous donation. It is very generous. Um, it says, wishing you peace and joy and lots of kittens this holiday season. Hello, Mr. A, and greetings from Asheville. I've enclosed a small gift for you and something to use as you see fit for the Academy. I wish everyone a safe and happy holiday season. Merry Christmas, April Baxter and G, a.k.a. Ginger Tuffy Cat. Well, thank you so much, Ginger Tuffy Cat. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate chocolate, too. Uh, for most of the stuff that's come wrapped like this separately, I want to put it under the tree and save it for Christmas. But uh, chocolate bar, it seems like something that might get chewed up by the cats, and we wouldn't want that. So, so I'm just going to have to open it now. 
Uh, there's just nothing else to be done for it. <laughs> what? Did you know this existed? Oh, I guess it didn't exist because it says right on it, new. It is a Biscoff Belgian milk chocolate bar. It is a chocolate bar, but I guess it must have little bits of Biscoff in it. Oh, because it says with Biscoff cookie bits. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I cannot wait to try that. Uh, thank you so much, April and Asheville. The chocolate bar is very cool. And, uh, of course, your generous contribution to the kittens is also very cool. Thank you very, very much for that. Oakley doakley. Um, well, we're just going to keep grabbing boxes here. Oh, man, that one's going to... That's a little heavy. Why is it so heavy? I guess we're going to find out. Wow, what are you cooking in there? That smells good. Oh, did you make a dosa? Oh, yum. If you're not familiar with dosa, it's like a, like a sourdough crepe. Uh, Indian, uh, South Indian breakfast staple, really. Good stuff. Mm. Okie dokie. The note, okay to read on screen. Maggie, you are taking up the entire stream right now, Maggie. Maggie, hey, here's your beat. Okay. There you go. Okay. Let's see, that's the pile of things to keep. This is the pile of things to not keep. So let's put that over there. All right, the note right on top. Oh, so cute. It's a little tiny planet with little cats and dogs all around it and a Christmas tree. And it says, peace to all creatures, great and small. Uh, Mr. A and Dr. DJ, wishing you peace and joy this holiday season. Thank you for all you do for the mom, cats, and kittens. My mom and I have been watching since the fancy feasters. The live streams help us get our kitten fix. Our cat, Honey, is 16 and a half years old and prefers to be the only cat in the house, but she loves watching the kittens on TV. We've been collecting a few items to send as a thank you. Uh, first off, some local reading materials for Mr. A. Yes. Oh, my goodness. I didn't realize there was more than one here, too. This is so cool. We have the Carolina Trails with this weird... Um, sort of uh it's like an old timey carriage except it's not it's clearly a motor car and it's made long to carry around tourists uh but the cutest thing is the little saint bernard sitting up front you could almost miss him uh but you can see he must live with the driver and uh he's right there you see that how cool is that so the carolina oh tails i read trails for some reason but it's tails so he must be actually the focus of that shot uh, that somebody uh, took just for him Okay, we have the Azalea Arts issue with some amazing looking lasagna on the front. Oh my goodness. Oof. Wow. Presumably that's in there somewhere. Uh, also, here's another one with a cute little dog whoosh on it. So sweet. Wow, DJ and I are always talking about how we really have to get another dog in here, but it's, it is. It's a big commitment, so you don't want to just jump into it. It's better to talk about it for a long time uh, and then eventually do it when you know you're fully committed. So uh, let's see. Also, the Charleston City paper. And then for some reason, uh, where they would normally have the price, it says, give it a rest, guys, free. But the give it a rest, guys part is kind of, I don't know, is that a Charleston thing somehow? Or are they just being super... Um, uh, uh what, what word am I looking for there? I don't know. It's just that it seems unnecessary. Give it a rest, guys. Uh, anyway, this is a really cool photo, too. Uh, whatever this design is in the back is uh, pretty awesome. Okay, Hipsterville. Uh, very cool. Okay, so the rest of it. First off, why was it so heavy? Well, of course, there's some fancy feast, uh, ch classic pate in the box, which is wonderful. I got to go back to your card, too, to see, make sure. Okay, uh, local reading materials for Mr. A. Christmas items, wet food, and churu for the Academy. Okay. Look at this. A brand new bee for Maggie. Look, this one still has wings on it. Uh, who knew? Very cool. Uh, Maggie, do you want it right meow? After all, the kittens keep stealing her bee. Why not? That's why I can open it. After all, Custard got his toy right now. Why make him wait until Christmas to open their presents? Maggie, what's this? Oh, oh, it's, oh, oh, my goodness. Do you want, oh, she's meowing at it too. She's very excited. Oh, 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 I wish you could see her little face. Oh, okay, okay, hang on, hang on. Go get it. Okay. 
All right. A B for Maggie, just what she wanted. You guys know the faculty so well. This is a perfect gift for Custard. That's a perfect gift for Maggie. Uh, toys, cat, and bananas, and mice as endowments for Thimble and her kittens. So you've sent a whole box of endowments for the new kittens. So cute. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year from Katie, uh, me, who knew, and Debbie, mom. Uh, that's so sweet. Katie and Debbie. Thank you so much for sending all of it. Now let's separate out the treats that I guess are for the Academy, which is a, a handful of various churus. All the good stuff. Okay. And I think now the rest of this is endowments for the new, the brand new babies. So we have some Christmas stuff. We've got a reindeer wearing a scarf. And uh, is this a raccoon wearing a scarf, I think? For some reason that says raccoon to me. I'm looking at it upside down, but there we go. Uh, we got a pack of little tiny mice. Oh, another pack of tiny mice. These are the fun mice that, like, for instance, Loganberry loves to play fetch with. Always a classic. We got two bananas. We have uh, these shiny Christmas mice. Oh, wow. And the plaid ones, too. Very cool. Then we have this beautiful Christmas tunnel. It's even got a bow with some mistletoe and also a Christmassy plaid on the outside. Peekaboo cat. Okay, very cool. And then, uh, last but definitely, definitely not least, easy for me to say, uh, one of these nice fiberglass wands with a bunch of the worm toys on it and a supplemental bag of worms and, yes, the red and white real fur mice. Oh, man, a big hit. This is going to be so great for the new mom. Uh, thimble and her little babies. They're going to love it. Now, so far, this is very strange. I haven't seen Thimble play with anything. She does not play. And now, she does uh, She does wrestle and, and like bite on her catnip a little bit, uh, so she's not completely abnormal that way. But I have not been able to get her to engage with any toy as a toy yet. Very strange that way. Uh, she does engage, though, uh, quite well with her food. <laughs> so so that's, I guess, her deal. She's an eater. She's a snuggler. Oh, my goodness, she is the most affectionate, uh, but not so much in the play yet. Maybe that will turn around after she's done with her kittens. Who knows? Um, I guess we'll find out. So, again, uh, thank you so much. That is Katie and Debbie. Katie and Debbie, thank you very, very much. Uh, this will be great for their endowments. This is endowments for the older class, so I, I don't want to put those together. I guess I'll just put this over here, and we'll start a pile of stuff that is for us to distribute uh, in various places around the academy. There, we'll put that out of the way. Whoa, 1045! We're hardly even put a dent in this pile. This might be uh, this might be a few days of Christmas. We might have the 12 days of Christmas right here. Oh, except we're running out of time. It's only seven days until Christmas, right? Well, we'll do what we can. Uh, this is addressed to Kitten Academy, Cahooties, and new mom, Edwina, from Lisa for Kittens. All right. Uh, Edwina must, must have been sent before she had a name. Ooh. Oh, I know what these are. Uh, wait, no. i got to read the note one more time. Well, actually, there's probably notes inside. Let's go back. Uh you know what these are, too. Here we go. We can all look. Floppy fish, six total. Please split up for the Kahoot kittens. One for Thimble. Kahoot should already have hers and her endowments from Lisa for kittens. Well, perfect. That's uh, easy. Good directions. I appreciate it. And uh, maybe we should take one out right now and put it into the other box for Thimble. That could work. Also, this, we know uh, that this is for Mayhem, but I'm going to have to label it somehow, aren't I? Uh, so I'm just going to put it right back in there and label the box as being for Mayhem. That way we don't get confused before. Uh, and we could easily forget that by the time Mayhem gets picked up by her adopter. So let me just write Mayhem. Perfect. Okay. So we got that going for us. Uh, mayhem. Good. And then one of these can go... Actually, we'll break it out the other way, though. I'll take one of them and put it in here by itself. And that way I have a way to label this one. 
as being the symbol itself. Perfect, put that with the symbol endowment. Put these right in here with you and this box that says mayhem on it already. Hi, boy. Uh, boy, are you just going to sit in there, bud? Is that how you work? Oh, well, what have you got? Oh, you got Maggie's bee. Maggie, do you want your bee back? Oh, yes, you do. Come here. Oh, okay, but Maggie. Oh, what? Did you even make a noise for it? Okay, ready? Go get it. The kids were stealing her bee. Oh, man. That would have been a real shame. You kids have the hand-me-down bee. Where is that one at? It's right there. It's right there. There you go. Yes, get that one. Hey, oh, she's going to. Who is that, Hoodwink? Looks like Hoodwink. It's going to take the other bee. Good. Okay, let's keep rolling. Uh, this is now endowments. So, uh, for, for your class, kids. Okay, Kitten Academy. Oh, that's all it really says on the outside. Let's see what we got. A knife guard is good. Cut in half. Did I do that? <gasps> Ooh, oh, some nice handmade kickers. Wow. Uh, Merry Christmas to the faculty. Well, we'll have to give that to them right away. But look at that. It goes deeper and there's a note. Oh, wow, you kids are going right for it. Come back here, Mayhem. Tiny Mayhem. Pocket Mayhem. Oh, sealed with sealing wax and a paw print. How fancy. All right, I'll put that up here. Uh, this is the the uh, the card. Uh, now I'm starting to recognize certain cards. Shoebox. Uh, this is two cats talking to each other. One is pooping out a long string of tinsel, and the other one is asking him, have you seen the tinsel? He's saying no, but inside the other cat is giving him a look like, yeah, okay. Uh, have all the holiday fun you can get away with. Merry Christmas and wishing you all the season has to offer. Love, true blue. Yes, true blue, but there's more of a note than that. Hang on. Hang on. There's more. Now, how much would you expect to pay? Mr. A and Dr. DJ. The holiday season is upon us, and it seems that everyone is in cahoots to make our festivities absolute mayhem. I've been hoodwinked so many times by flim flam artists that I feel totally bamboozled. They're trying to take the wonders of the holiday away, and I say hogwash. I love the season, I love the holidays, and I love kittens. It was a little difficult to take the kittens' names and imagine them in fabric. Here we go. Hang on. Oh, okay. That's uh, nicely packed in there. Vacuum sealed. Uh, to imagine them in fabric. So I just decided to help Cahoots and the Cooligans out by giving them kickers with lines. Trying to keep them on the straight and narrow, if you will. I don't know if it'll work. I'm not sure that I want it to work. These tinies and their mom are so sweet and mischievous, I don't think I ever want them to change. And there's a holiday kicker for the faculty just because. Everyone always thanks you for all you do for the kittens and mom cats and a few non-moms too allowing us to watch you do it. And believe me, these accolades are well-deserved. But what you do is more than that. You both have inspired a lot of people by showing all the wonderful things fostering does for the mom, cats, and kittens, and some of the not-so-wonderful things that go along with it. You've taken the mystery out of what fostering is. I know quite a few people who have fostered because of this, and you've inspired those who may not be able to foster to support their local shelters with their time talents, and donations. So again, I say to you, thank you, Mr. A and DJ, for everything you do for the mom, cats, and kittens who pass through the academy, and thank you for everything you do for us. Love, True Blue. True Blue, thank you. And uh, boy, I echo what you said 100%. I won't even try to follow it up by using other words. You said it so perfectly. It's, it's wonderful that uh, people have been inspired to foster by watching us. And it's wonderful that people uh, who can't have been inspired to donate to their local shelters who always need help. So uh, thank you for bringing that up and saying it so well. So here we have uh, the uh, kickers and it's still vacuum sealed. I, I'm hesitant to break the seal on this, uh, but we have one for Cahoots. Uh, I think then uh, this one is gonna be the one for Hoodwink, Flim Flam, 
I don't know if you guys can even see where I'm pointing. Flim Flam Mayhem Bamboozle, which leaves, which one is the second? The mystery uh, Hoodwink, Flim Flam Mayhem Bamboozle. And, uh, oh, the boy. So uh, the, the bright purple one, I think, is for the boy. There we go. Very cool. I do love the lines. I love the straight and narrow pun, too, actually. Uh, so that's brilliant, wonderful, fantastic. And these can all go right over here with their endowments. Well, this one, Merry Christmas, K.A. Faculty. Maggie, did you lose your bee to the kittens again? I see you're right here without a bee. Would you like a kicker to take it out on? Let's take off this safety pin. There we go. Just like so. Maybe. Maybe. There we go. Here, try this out. It's cute. It's got little cartoony mice on it. It's very Christmassy. And Maggie, and she's, she's looking very irritated. I don't know if she's going to attack it though, like she ought to. These uh, safety pins are valuable items around here, so I'm going to take this and put it in my pocket, I think. Actually, we'll just put it back here in this pocket with my reminders. And then it will eventually make its way to the place where it belongs. All right, thank you again. Those kickers are fantastic, and these kids are going to love it. Just as soon as they're old enough to really appreciate the cat. How did this get all the way in here? This was in my office. Uh, someone sent this. Actually, I think this is a toy from last year. Cute little reindeer. Oh, maybe it's not. Maybe it's from this year. Either way, the kids have been loving it. I left it in my office, and I, but now I'm finding it everywhere around the house. Uh, they must really be dragging it. Okay, we got some time still to keep rolling, so let's do that. Let's keep rolling. Oh, Laura Kitten Fan, this is already open. This is endowments for these kids. So this now just belongs in here. Oh, but this is the very attractive bag. That's why it was rolled up and needs to continue to be rolled up. And I think Maggie got up for it. Oh, oh no, this one fell out. Oh, Maggie was going to go for it. Put this back in. These things are a big hit for some reason. Okay. Put that right in there. Oh, okay. got it. Next. That gives us time to open another one. I don't know if this counts as a letter. I think it does. We'll leave that for tomorrow with the letters. Uh, ooh, a good pile of letters still. This might be a three-day mailbag, everybody. I know I said that already, but I'm saying it again. Oop. Uh, let's see. All right. Well, let's see what we got here. Ooh, a note, and it looks like a blanket, like a very fancy embroidered blanket, perhaps. It's got words on it anyway. Mr. Andy J, the note. Yes, all right, good. Inside. Oh, uh, oh my goodness, Mayhem, you keep jumping. Stay, stay right there. Just stay, stay. Okay, oh, it's cute. It's a it's a bunch of kittens playing with balls of yarn and wearing Christmas uh, hats, and it's shiny. It's so pretty, and it says, "We knit you a merry Christmas and a cozy new year." So sweet. Oh, it says, "Love the Kitten Academy alumni adopters." This is the cutest card. It says, "Dear Mr. A and DJ, the Kitten Academy alumni adopters want to thank you for everything you do." Words cannot describe how incredibly grateful we are to you for starting this wonderful community of cat lovers and sharing your lives and your foster cats and kittens with everyone. Because of you, each of us was given the opportunity to fall in love with the perfect mom cat, kitten, or pregnant for our lives, even if we live hundreds of miles away. The love and care you give all the Kitten Academy alumni has helped them become the best furry friends, troublemakers, kitchen supervisors, snuggle buddies, helpers, micromanagers, man-stealing trader cats, etc. that we could ask for, and we are forever grateful to you. To show some of our gratitude, we hope you've been enjoying the Cat Advent Calendar this month, and because we've seen how much you enjoyed it, the Universal Yums International Snack Subscription Box has been renewed for another year of culinary experiences from different countries. We also will be giving donations to Dawes and On Angel's Wings, who also helped our alumni and many other cats find wonderful homes. The final amount is still to be determined, but at the time of this writing, we'll be giving over $800 to both organizations. 
That is amazing. Um, lastly, the alumni themselves wanted to send their own message written on this special blanket. We hope you look at it for years to come as a reminder of how many cat and human lives you truly improved with Kitten Academy. Aw, the alumni are the best, the best. Uh, Ari, you're going to have to move out of the way because whatever this is, we definitely have to see it, okay? Um, so first off, let me let me respond to some of the note before we dig into this. Um, and I'm so glad this, this is clearly where we're going to end mailbag. You can't top this. Um, so uh, we'll pick it up again tomorrow at 11. But... Um, First off, I, I just, my general appreciation for the, the people who have adopted cats from us. Obviously, um, you're the reason that we do all of this, you know, and in a very real way, the whole reason that we do Kitten Academy is to try to get these kittens adopted. And you are, each of you, a success story for everything that we've done. So in that sense, I, I couldn't possibly appreciate you more than I do. Um, and then also the Universal Yums, let me just say, has been fantastic. And the thing that it, it impresses me the most is uh, that there hasn't been any repeats. There haven't, haven't been a single repeat. Uh, we've not gotten the same thing twice, and it's so fun. Uh, we really enjoy it. Some things are really good, and some things are definitely not. Uh, but but either way, it is an adventure. Uh, it's like it's like getting you know fresh uh, salmiaki uh, or, or that kind of thing. Like every month, you get that same experience of I don't know if this is going to be good or not. Uh, so it's it's certainly fun. Uh, you also say the donations to the uh, Danbury Animal Welfare Society and On Angels Wings. Uh, those are the two shelters that we've worked with. Uh, there there've been a couple of others too that don't. Uh, I think. Uh, bear mentioning. They're all doing good work, though. Uh, so uh, Dawes and On Angels Wings, that is amazing that you guys have taken up a collection for them. I just I can't tell you how touching that is. And I, I think also that does, it, you know, it, it, we get I, we definitely get some points um, when uh, when people make donations to them, you know, on account of having Kitten Academy, having done what we've done. So uh, it works out really well for all of us. And, and I love it. Um, uh, so, okay, that's really, oh, and the cat advent calendar too. Yes, DJ, I think there were some pictures. Uh, DJ dug into one of them. Uh, there have been a couple. Uh, so here we go. This is a blanket, and it does say, oh, my goodness, it's actually custom made. Wow. And it looks like note paper. It is literally a note. The note. Uh, let's see if I can read it upside down. Chris and DJ. Uh, <laughs> um the alumni want to thank you for, I feel like I'm reading that giant check from, uh, uh, let's see, let's just do it this way. I know you guys probably can't see it too well this way, but uh, it is a piece of note paper, red line, that's so cute. The alumni want to thank you for the education at the academy, uh, for our education at the academy. Each one of us has wonderful memories filled with spoogles, chimkin, and tissue pits. That's so sweet. Thank you for the, uh, thank you for the endless love and patience you showed each of us. It's fun trying to read such a giant letter. Uh, and thanks, and thank you for giving us the opportunity to live our best lives. Love. The Kitten Academy alumni. Oh, that is just the sweetest, sweetest thing. And I can't wait. Uh, DJ's gone back upstairs, so I don't think she even knows. And I can't wait to surprise her with this by bringing it up and uh, putting it on the bed for us both to appreciate with the kittens for a while. And I can see the fringe on this is already a hit. Uh, just that's, This is the sweetest thing. You guys... That was the other thing I wanted to say. Uh, that that picture frame, though, it's really, I think it still has to take first place. Although reading a giant letter is pretty fun, too. Um, that picture frame, though, is just something that touches me every single day. Uh, and maybe this, maybe this blanket will end up be, uh, in a location where we can appreciate it every single day forever. But it, it is... It's really hard to top that picture frame. It's so wonderful. But that picture frame, by the way, if you don't know, is a, it's an electronic picture frame that shows pictures of the alumni, current pictures of them, all the time, magically. And it's also magically updated all the time. So every time I look, there's something new. Um, and uh, it just it's just wonderful. 
So uh, thank you. Thank you for everything. Thank you for the donations to Dawes and On Angel's Wings. Uh, thank you for this giant letter that we get to now put uh, various places around the academy. It's, it's it's fun and it's wonderful. And I love that it's on like notebook paper, like a classroom. So it really fits the theme. DJ's going to just love it. Um, but uh, more than more than anything, thank you for adopting from Kitten Academy. Uh, again, it, it means a lot to us. And uh, it is literally the whole reason that we do this. Um, you know, we might foster kittens anyway, but uh, I don't know that, that we would go through um, doing it all online if, if it wasn't, you know, for that, for that, for that purpose. And, uh, and you're the reason that it's worked, you know, you are the, the reason and the evidence and uh, you are the, the working of it. So yeah, that's it. Um, thank you for that. That that's a, such a great place to end mailbag too. I'm just lucky I happened to open that one. I had no idea. I don't screen these things. I have no idea what we're going to open. Uh, so that, that really worked out well. Um, we will pick this up again tomorrow at 11, so an hour later, 25 hours from when we started today. Uh, and I kind of guess that we probably won't make it all the way through then either. Um, so uh, I don't know, we'll make a call. Do we do it Christmas Eve day? Do we do it um, throughout the week maybe? Or, uh, you know, just we'll figure it out. We'll figure out what we'll, let's see how much we have left at the end of tomorrow and then we'll make a call. So uh, thank you again to everybody, everybody for everything, not just the alumni. You're all wonderful people. Uh, I can see this bed is going to be uh, Maggie's in it now and Custard is probably going to be in it again. What a, what a great idea. I didn't realize uh, once we had to get rid of the old one because it was just too worn out and, and uh, vomited in. Uh, I didn't realize that the kittens had missed it so much. So I guess we'll have to make it a point to keep something like that around for them. Uh, kittens, I say, I mean, faculty, of course. Uh, so, all right. Uh, as usual, I'm going to try to get the stuff that we've opened put away, the stuff that we haven't opened. I'm maybe going to try to move off to one side. I think I will. There's a lot of it. And then we will wrap up today's archive and pick it up again tomorrow. So uh, let's get to it. I'm going to start right away with a delivery. Uh, oh, this I'm going to go downstairs so I can tuck them in here. <laughs> I'm going to start with a delivery to DJ of this and uh, putting away this little mayhem before it gets lost in all the mayhem. Okay. Let's do that. You know, right next to Taco Ari, just like I said, yes, it's fit together.
Perfect. I was just telling Chad, I took a picture of DJ uh, with the blanket, which she wanted to put on uh, on her uh, immediately um, because otherwise she was going to have to get up and put on socks. So she said the blanket arrived just in time uh, to save her from having to get up and put on socks, which really sounds like it trivializes the thoughtfulness and wonderfulness that went into that gift. But uh, if you know DJ, it's actually some high praise right there. So, you know, it's exactly what she wanted. A blanket, <laughs> so she didn't have to get home. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see. Let's get the rest of this stuff put up then. These two boxes have to go right downstairs. Uh, okay, no, that's actually about it. So let's take these down. Oh, I'll be right back. Okay, well, we're in the mailbag archive right here, uh, but I just, I carried up the tissue pit when I carried down everything else. I put it in the other room because I think we'll get a better camera angle there. So, tissue time for them. Uh, goodbye time for you guys, and we'll see you tomorrow at, uh, at 11. Oh, oh, falling over.